And let me tell you, it's very challenging to come in here and I want to make myself a healthy breakfast. And one of my daughters is over here cooking some delicious bacon. It's not too late. She got pancake batter ready to go. Well, not ready to go. Still yeah. lumpy. Yeah. But man, like I came in here to make my healthy breakfast. You and can, what are you doing? You can still have some. I cannot have my healthy breakfast next to this. You're sabotaging me, Kelly. That's okay. That's okay. I'm going to work it out. I'm going to work it out. That's what my so-called healthy breakfast is going to consist of today. So I'll let you know how it goes. So this is what my little mixture looks like. And it's nature season. I didn't put salsa in here in case you guys are wondering. I only put pico de gallo and some nature seasoning. So I'm going to fry this up and hopefully it comes out well. A little bit of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Or that seems like a little to me. I don't know. Maybe it's not a little to everyone else. Who knows? To me it is. So that's what we're going with. And this is my breakfast, <laughs> as Kristen just said. <laughs> I originally was planning on making an omelet, but then I got lazy and just decided to, you know, make it scrambled. You know, two tablespoons of salsa, two tablespoons of guacamole, and a little bit of Colby Jack cheese. And that is essentially what I'm going to have for breakfast today. It's pretty much a breakfast taco without the tortilla. So yeah, here it goes. All right, it's lunchtime. Normally I would have this salad, this romaine salad. That's normally what I would eat. But today, instead I'm having tuna. So, you know, we're talking about 110 calories versus 15 calories. Also, I put Miracle Whip in it. That's 40 calories. I put relish in it. And I got two scoops, so even though it says it's 15, it's really 30 for me. And I'm also going to be dipping with, you know, some Ritz. And Ritz, what was Ritz again, Courtney? Um, 80. Eight, yeah, eight or if you use the whole thing, right 210 if you use the whole stack. So I'll try not to use the whole stack. But, uh, five crackers is like, this is what my tuna looks calories. like. Yeah, five crackers is 80 calories. I mean, come on, man. This is a lot. But, you know, my tuna is looking really good. If I had any more eggs left over from breakfast, I would certainly do a hard boiled egg, but I don't. So I'll have to go out and get some more eggs for protein. But this is lunch. My first two glasses of water for the day. Yesterday I had 10 glasses of water and, uh, I still ended up waking up in the middle of the night with the cramp. So I'm not sure if that's just because I've been working out lately and my muscles are not used to that, but this is a 16 ounce glass. So this counts as two for me. So ever since I've been drinking more water, I find myself much thirstier. It's like, I wanted to stop at like, I probably normally would have stopped at six, but I was like, oh no another and then it was like midnight and i still was like another <laughs> like i think i would have drank water all throughout the night if i could have because i woke up in the middle of the night thirsty woke up this morning thirsty and i'm just like how am i thirsty when i drank 10 glasses of water yesterday it's not making sense to me but it seems like my body's like oh since you're giving us water give us more i don't know explain it to me somebody while you guys are watching me struggle to hold this one minute plank, I'm going to tell you how I finished out my day calorie wise. <laughs> so uh, my breakfast turned out to be 328 calories because, um, you know, eggs and guacamole and cheese, and all that good stuff. Um, lunch came out to 219 calories. So, you know, hey, I'm doing good. I'm in the 500s. But then dinner, right? I didn't post my dinner on here but i actually ended up having a 900 calorie dinner it was 914 and who knew that ground beef tacos 
for 580 calories. I'm just like, wow, I only had two tacos and that was almost 600 calories. And when you add all the sour cream and the connie sauce, pico de gallo and cheese, it just it came out to 914 and I was like, wow, okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's also uh, not including, uh, no, that is including a glass of wine. That was a 130 calorie glass of wine. So um, that was my dinner, 914. I burned a total of 605 calories this day. So that still gave me, you know, a deficit of 343 calories. So, you know, I can't be too upset. <laughs> um, less ground beef tacos, less wine. And uh, that'll be better. And I'm just looking at myself doing these dead bugs. And I'm like, oh my goodness, that hurts so bad. But I couldn't quit. Because <laughs> my daughter was, watch was watching me. She was right there watching me. You can't quit in front of your kids. <laughs> so, therefore, I just kept going. I'm just like, you know... My family is really helping to give me the motivation that I need to just not quit. You know, Craig came and joined me with the, the exercise earlier for a few minutes. And then he was like, oh, I got to take a phone call. And then he came back during the cool down. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> you don't get to cool down. You didn't even work out for real. <laughs> so um, it's helpful to have the the family around um unless your kids are cooking bacon and pancakes <laughs> which mine are but that's okay i was able to resist temptation and you know finish strong i could have finished a little bit stronger if i maybe just had one taco if i had known the tacos were that high in calories i probably wouldn't have had two but um normally i eat like three maybe four so i feel like i'm still doing well i still had a, a calor caloric deficit. So, um, still taking steps and moving in the right direction.